Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Before I explain about PT Sibu Satu Alami, let me introduce myself. My name is Atala Delena Faini. With the student ID number 19032110051. I'm from Agribusiness Study Program, Faculty of Agriculture, University of Tunojoyo, Madura. This video is created to fulfill the final exam of food and non-food agribusiness. Next. Please see the profile video of PT 1001 Alami in Pamakasan. PT 1001 Alami Pemakasan is manufacturing industry engaged in the manufacture of cigarettes. Tobacco is an agricultural commodity that has an important role in the Indonesia economic system, especially in state revenues in the form of accessibility and great extents and contributes a lot to employment. The main product produced from processed tobacco that are widely traded are tobacco leaves and cigarettes. The tobacco industry in Indonesia is growing rapidly in line with the increases in the number of smokes. Although smoking has a negative impact on health, it cannot be denied that tobacco is still an agricultural commodity that is widely cultivated. The story of the establishment of PT 1001 Alami cannot be separated from the family history of PT 1001 Alami, as the founder namely Muhammad Badri, in the 1999 to 2000. Muhammad Badri is an entrepreneur as tobacco trader purchased directly from local farmers or collector in Kertagena Tengah Village, Kadur, Pamakasan. In 2005, the condition of the tobacco market began to decline and the economy of the village community was a great apprehensive. As a native of Madura, who is known as a product of high-quality tobacco and his love for good life, he took the initiative to increase the ceiling value of tobacco by establishing a company to help rural communities find decent jobs. In 2007, Muhammad Badri has established a small manufacturing business based on home industry which is focused on processing tobacco into cigarettes cigarettes with the product label 1001 Alami. The label naming using 1001 Alami has its own unique history, which is taken from the number plate of his personal facility in the form of a Honda CRV brand car with the number plate 1001. A care that has always accompanied him in his ever since the beginning of his business. Over time, in the midst of increasingly faced economic competition with the other companies, the condition of the home industry companies fluctuated. In order to mention its existence so as not to be bankrupt, the company's administrative system and work procedure are improved little by little. At the beginning of 2017, the demand for Kertex cigarettes by the Raider community was increasing so that this caused the companies to also increase the quantity and quality of its production. Thus, the company's gross turnover increases sharply and companies were required by the government to be confirmed as PKP. Google Cigarettes companies PT 1001 Alami won an award as the best cigarettes companies in 2018 from the Ministry of Finance of the Republic Indonesia. The award was given to the Director General of Custom and Access at the Regional Office of DGBG as Java 1 KPPBG Type Media Custom C Madura. This award is given because PT 1001 Alami in 2018 
2018 has made a positive contribution in terms of excess revenue and has high complaints. The criteria for the assessment are the profile of cigarettes entrepreneurs, reporting compliance and the contribution of excess revenues. One vision of PT Sibu Satu Alami is improving the quality of the economy and the quality of people's life through entrepreneurship. Well, the mission is 1. Providing quality product at the available price for the creative consumers. 2. Providing easy and affordable job opportunities for every community. 3. Providing compensation and a good work environment to employees. For fostering good relationship with business partners. There are several topics that I will explain. First, production management. Second, marketing management. Third, contribution to society. Fourth, impact of the environment. Fifth, corporate social responsibility. First, production management. Production management is a suite of activities that produce value in the form of goods and service by converting input into output. Production management has a relationship with the production process so that the goals of an organization or a company can be achieved. In production management, there are several things. There is first production resource that defines into several factor. First, in natural resources. Based on natural resources, production factor PT 1001 Alami takes advantage of the high potential of local tobacco. The profits added value and economic value for tobacco commodities into cigarettes. Second is human resources. Based of the production factor of human resources, PT 1001 Alami has employed more than 200 workers. These workers have a role in road process, quality control, until the process of packaging and the entire cigarette production process. Third is source of capital. This is on the production factor of the source of capital that is Ribusatu Alami uses internal capital source. Fourth is expertise. This is over the expertise is running PT Ribusatu Alami owners and workers have adequate skill in rural processing, quality control, until the process of packaging, and workers come from outside the owner's family. Second, location selection. Based of the location of the PT 1001 Alami, the owner choose a location that is based on the potential of the location, easy to access in terms of distribution, and adequate line area. Third, production supervision. The owner, PT 1001 Alami, always carry out routine supervision to observe first the cigarette production process which is done manually. Next, the second is marketing management. Marketing management is the analysis, planning, implementation, and control of program designed to generate desired excellence with the target market for the purpose of achieving organizational goals. In marketing management, there are several things, namely, first, the marketing strategy. The marketing strategy created by PT 1001 Alami is by promoting cigarettes directly with distributor. Then, online marketing took as first demand banners. Banners and can also be pursued on online marketing application. Second, the pricing strategy. The anti-pricing strategy used by the owner is to use a profit-based pricing strategy. Third, promotion strategy. Promotional strategies used by the owner include promotional elements such as word of mouth and online publication. Third, the contribution to society. Income. With the extension of PT 1001 Alami can increase the income of the surrounding community because this PT 1001 Alami absorbs labor. Jobs 
PT Seribu Satu Alami cares job for the surrounding community. Food is impact for the environment. The waste, the waste generated by PT Seribu Satu Alami is processed by burning and made into agricultural fertilizer for corn and rice, which is given to the surrounding community. Last, corporate social responsibility. The form of corporate social responsibility carried out by PT Seribu Satu Alami, namely, first, the company is committed to participation in contributing to sustainable economic development. Second, operate legally with the existence of excess duty as part of corporate social responsibility. Third, carry out social action in the realm of concrete for the environment and then violate the limits of statutory regulation. Fourth, employees are included in training such as assistance and training activities for access exercise application system 3 fifth provide holiday allowance every year to employees and the surrounding community thank you for listening to my presentation i hope what i have said would be beneficial for all of us if there are any mistake please forgive me Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.